Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly Tuesday Techniques. I'm going to give it a few more seconds for everybody to jump on. Good afternoon everyone, I can see you all coming on. Okay, let's get started. So just in a, quick, a few quick announcements. The holiday catalog is going live tomorrow. Um, actually at midnight tonight, but you can't place orders until uh, after 3 a.m. Eastern time or mountain time, excuse me. So make sure you get your list ready. Very exciting time of the year to get all your Christmas um, products in to make your Christmas cards. And I also wanted to announce my hostess code for the month of September. Make sure you put this number and, and letters into the shopping cart at the end when you place your order and you'll earn some free products from me. My free card kit for the month of September. So anyone that places orders with me will receive all of the pieces and layers to create their own kit, minus the stamped images, of course. And lastly, my door prize for the month of September Anyone that places orders with me, including Paper Pumpkin, your name will be entered to win the Lots of Cheer stamp set. Okay, so let's get going on the technique for this month. I'm actually using a Good Man stamp set. I'm only using uh, the sentiment on this one. Being a good dad starts with being a good man. And let me show you all of the ink colors. from Cake, Soft Suede, Pear Pizzazz and Old Olive. I'm going to leave these out because we're going to use those right away. For cardstock, soft suede, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And remember, while you're, while you're watching, I'm going to draw a name for the finished card, and you know what you're supposed to do without me asking, right? If you don't, um, just look at the comments and people will tell you what you need to do in order to win one of my cards. Very vanilla, two pieces measuring five and a quarter by four. A scrap piece. Another piece of very vanilla. This one is five by three and three quarter. Soft suede, five and a half by two. And pear pizzazz five by three and three quarters. So aren't these beautiful masculine colors? You can tell we're making a masculine card today. I'm going to start out by actually stamping the sentiment only because I need the big shot and that's the only uh, reason I need the big shot today. So I'm gonna do the soft suede on the very vanilla and I'm going to put that away and bring in the big shot. Now I'm using the rectangle. Oh, wait a minute, I've got my the wrong pad. I had a class this morning and I had my big shot set up backwards. So I'm using the stick, stitched rectangles dies. Now this one measures one and a half by almost three. And I'm just going to cut my little sentiment with the rectangle stitch dies. Okay, so now let's get going on the technique. So I'm going to bring in the smallest of the very vanilla layers. I'm going to open all of my ink pads. So soft suede, crumb cake, pear pizzazz, and old olive. Do you guys want to see the card before I start? I'm sure you're going to say yes. So today we're doing the camouflage technique. Look how neat that looks on the front of my card. I'm going to show you how to do that. Isn't that neat? And I used four colors on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the soft suede and I'm actually just lightly going to just add some color. That's it. So we're done with the soft suede. 
Now what we're going to do, I'm going to make, make sure this is nice and dry. I'm going to crumple it all up. Okay, I've got it all crumpled up. Now I'm going to open it back up. And look how bumpy that is. Now I'm using the crumb cake and I'm actually going to just press down. And you can see how that grabbed the ink on the bumps. So I'm going to put this one away. Make sure this is nice and dry. Okay, and I'm going to wrinkle this again and try to create some new bumps. So it's just like a giant spit spitball. Okay, now again, I'm just going to put that right there. And I'm going to bring in the pear pizzazz. Okay, can you see how that's starting to, to look like camouflage paper? And we're going to do one more. So again, let's do this to dry it up. And I'm going to crumple it one more time. Now I was thinking that this would be cute to do with like a pink camo or a blue camo. You could do any color. Okay, this time what I want to do is try to fill in where there's a lot of white spots. So I'm going to actually do this. And you can see where I'm adding the darker green. Now we need some over here. This over here is quite white. So see how I'm just filling in that white area and I'm just kind of pressing down and let's do a little bit more over here and we'll do some right here there so that's all I'm gonna do I have four oh wait a minute let me do a little bit more here there's a lot of brown in the center there okay so now while this dries before I cut it, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my card. So I'm going to use very vanilla. And the two remaining pieces are the same size. One's gonna go, and I did some on the inside too today, only because I'm going to have a little piece of leftover camo and I put it on the inside. So let's go ahead and glue this followed by the pear pizzazz. Oh, I cut this piece a little bit larger than I did on this one. That's okay. It'll just be a little different layers. Next, I'm using the twine left over from Paper Pumpkin. And my twine is a mess. I had to actually just cut right in the center of it to get it to unravel. I'm going to wrap that around three times or maybe four times. Let's try four times. And then tie this into a bow. You know what? No, I'm going to take this off. I need to, to um, add my camo layer first. So let's go ahead and bring in the, my paper cutter. And I'm actually going to cut my camo paper down to measure one and three quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and use my... Oops, Use my bone folder just to flatten this out. And I'm doing it on the reverse side. So you can see what a mess it's doing with the ink here because it's still a little wet. So let's do one and three quarter. And then the other piece is going to go on the inside. Now this is going to fit right on my piece. I am going to need to trim it. I'm going to use my scissors. And that's going to go right there. And then I can go ahead and add my twine. Okay, we'll bring the twine back in. So four times around. 
and then tie into a bow. So I would love to see what colors you guys can come up with with the, using different colors than I did. Like I said, the pink and the blue I think would look good for a camo. So if you guys try this, take a picture of your projects and show it to me, please. I love seeing what you guys create. Okay, now I'm gonna trim this off. And let me just push all of my twine together. And then I'm going to add this one to the inside, but that's why I didn't glue down the very vanilla yet because I want to add it to the bottom. And it's going to be a little too long. So I'm going to trim that also. So you could actually make a huge sheet of this and then just cut what you need as you go. So that's going to go on the inside. Okay, and doesn't that make a nice finish for the inside of the card? And then, oh no, where's my sentiment? There it is, I thought I lost it. I'm going to glue the sentiment in place. So see what a nice card just a sentiment makes along with the camouflage? And I moved it over a little this time just to, to um, See how I had it about a quarter of an inch here and then I have it about three quarters of an inch here. And then I'm going to bring in the Noble Peacock rhinestones. I have little bits and pieces here left over from a product share that I did that I'm trying to use up. And we'll add two little ones down here. These come in two sizes. There, so there's my card for today. Now, I don't like where the bow is. I'm gonna to try to bring the bow in a little bit there, closer to the sentiment. Okay, so there's my card for today. And again, it was using the A Good Man stamp set. And let me open up the inside so you can see both. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. And I'll be picking a name for one of these cards tomorrow. And I'll be back on um, on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time with my Step It Up Sunday class. I hope to see you then. And good luck shopping tomorrow with the new holiday catalog. Have a good day, everyone.